Nero Rock paintings exhibit real truth about the existence of the smartest people that came before the modern day civilization. Estimates put the rock at anywhere between 3,000 and 12,000 years old. This is a very interesting place. When you enter number two, there are some pictures showing that God was here. That's why these people are from Sosa, they come and pray there and they say God rested here. Because when you enter number two, you find that there are some paintings look like Virgin Mary, Jesus and so on, and the boats and so everything are there. These painted rocks of different sizes and shapes, sometimes called a kindness stone, is simply a rock that someone has decorated with an inspirational message. Locals here bear traditional beliefs about the rocks and the paintings and hence guard it jealously. There are sites which can attract everybody to learn about history. This is Teso cultural site where Teso performed rituals a long time ago and still perform rituals from here, like facility, blessing, healing, and uh, other cultural activities. There are activities here, like the people who come for perform rituals, like pray for a child. To, a woman, if a woman fails to get a child, they come to pray from here to get a child. Or healings, or blessings. There is a special group who always comes here and perform. Pray, pray for somebody to get a luck. Oh, a chance. The less known Kako rock paintings in Butebo district are some of the less visited attractions in Uganda, yet very interesting to visit as it has very rich history. According to sources, it has been revealed uh, that uh, these were old, old, old rock paintings right from our grand, grand, grand parents who lived here some time back, perhaps starting from right the time of uh, the Stone Age men. So these writings have been here. We've also tried uh, to do our level best to protect these paintings. But uh, I think it is very important that the government has come in to come and help us. You know, for us as residents, we've been taking this place not as so serious as we have come to realize. Nero and Kakoro in Teso sub-region are justified by their prehistoric values and hence recognized by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. All the tangible cultural and heritage sites are under the Department of Uganda Museums in the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities. Dennis Igoa, for UBC News.